Okay, so I got my lunch set up and what we're gonna do Paul is I'm gonna go and do a test to see if I have ADHD. Because this was one of my first intentions when I made this channel was I wanted to talk a bit about mental health to uh, fight the stigma a bit. ADHD, ADHD test online by clinical partners. I'm gonna do that while I eat. Take our quick ADHD test. It's good that it's quick because people with ADHD have low focus for things that don't interest them, but high focus for things that interest them. I find it difficult finishing a task or project uh, very often. I find it difficult to organize myself or a task. Uh, no, I'm good at that. I would experience. I find it difficult to remember appointments sometimes. If a task or project requires a lot of thought, I will often delay in getting it started. Very often. Big indicator. Procrastination. I find it difficult to sit still and often fidget or squirm. Uh, sometimes. I would describe myself as being on the go and feel compelled to do things as if driven by a motor. When I was younger, yes. Now, no. I find it hard to remain focused in group settings. No. My mind feels very cluttered and it is hard for me to concentrate on one thing at a time. Uh, sometimes. I make decisions quickly and fail to think through the consequences. Rarely. I am often irritable with a shaft fuse. Sometimes. I'm just in the middle. I have mood swings, sometimes feeling quite high, other times low. Often. I often miss what is being said to me in conversations. Rarely. Not consistent with ADHD. Low or medium. Okay. Okay. Take another test. View all te tests. Anxiety. Start test. I find very hard to unwind, relax, or sit still. Very often. I've had so much problems such as feeling sick or stomach cramps. Often. I have been irritable and easily become annoyed. Very often. I have experienced shortness of breath sometimes. I have felt dizzy and unsteady at times, often. I have had difficulties with sleep, including waking early, finding it hard to go to sleep, very often. I have felt panicked and overwhelmed by things in my life, often. I have felt nervous and on edge, often. I have had trembling hands, rarely. I seem to be constantly worrying about things, often. Okay. You're likely to have an anxiety disorder. Dun, dun, dun. Take another test. Bipolar. Sometimes I'm much more talkative than at other times. Uh, no, I'm mostly talkative all the time. There are periods where I feel wired or hyper. I'm really active. Yeah. There are periods where I feel irritable or speeded up. Yeah. I have had times where I'm both depressed and elapsed at the same time. What does elapsed mean? I only know elapsed anus. No, that's prolapsed. Elapsed. Weeks. Uh, past tense. Elapsed. Past participle. Elapsed. Weeks. Elapsed. Before anything. Uh, pass or go by. I feel both. Oh, elated. Not elapsed. Wow, that's dyslexia right there. Elated. Tell you where my mind goes. S right away thought about prolapsed anus. Which I'll have to Google because I don't know. I don't know if I want to Google that. Elated. Statically happy. After the concert, I felt elated. At the same time, no. There are large variations in the quantity and quality of my work depending on my mood. No, I always try my best. I appear as I cry a great deal and then at other times I feel really happy and joke or laugh excessively. I never cry. I have times where I feel really optimistic about life and other times I feel there is no hope. No. There are times when I have a lot more interest in sex than at other times. Not at all. At times I feel really angry and hostile. Mm, a little. I have periods of mental... When I'm driving. Right? I have periods of mental dullness and other periods of very creative thinking. True. 
At times I'm very sociable and other times I just want to be left alone. True. I feel like this test, you can just choose the answer for the diagnosis you want. Like it's easy to see what you have to click to be diagnosed as bipolar and then you can be like, oh, see, I'm bipolar. Even if it's not really your style, like doesn't represent you for real. Bipolar unlikely. Depression. I feel overwhelmingly sad at times. Uh, that mm, t uh, right now, no. During COVID, yes. When I think of the future, I feel hopeless. Uh, slightly agree. I feel like a complete failure. Slightly agree. Actually, can I go back? Can I go back? I want to go back. I get a lot of satisfaction, joy, shen, joy from doing things. Slightly agree. I feel guilty about something most of the time. Slightly agree. I feel like I am being punished. No. I feel disappointed, even disgusted with myself. Slightly agree. The bad things in my life aren't all my fault. I don't really have bad things in my life. Uh, but then when they do happen, I feel like it's not my fault. I'm often on the brinks of tears or cry. Disagree. I feel irritated and annoyed by things in my life all the time. I'm very interested in other people's lives and like to listen to them. Yes. I find it easy to make decisions, big and small. Yes. I think I am unattractive or ugly. No, I'm fucking handsome, bro. I find it really hard to do anything, especially work. Slightly agree. My sleep patterns have been really disrupted. Definitely agree. I'm so tired I don't have the energy to do anything. Disagree. My appetite has changed a lot. Disagree. I have lost a lot of weight. No, gained. I am very concerned, even preoccupied with my physical health. Well, now I've done a lot of tests, so I know I'm okay. Uh, but I'll say I slightly agree. I am not interested in sexual relations at all with my wife sitting here. Boop. I have thought about ending my life. Yes. Uh, just something I've been doing since I'm a kid. So don't worry about that. Or a teenager, rather. Just thoughts that are in my head. You know when you go, but what are we doing here, man? Really? I'm a high, uh, highly likely to be suffering from depression. And that's after COVID. Maybe still some ripples. I uh, take another test. Autism, OCD. I've saved up so many things that they get in the way. Mm -hmm. I check things more often than necessary. Extremely. My phone. I get upset if objects are not arranged properly. Um, looking at my desk moderately. I feel compelled to count while I am doing things. Hmm? Count while I am doing things? I don't know. I find it difficult to touch an object when I know it has been touched by strangers or certain people moderately. I find it difficult to control my own thoughts extremely. I collect things I don't need a little bit. I repeatedly check doors, windows, drawers, egg. Not at all. I get upset if others change the way I have arranged things. A little bit. I feel I have to repeat certain numbers. Not at all. I sometimes have to wash or clean myself simply because I feel contaminated. Well, I feel dirty after I had a drive in Ho Chi Minh City, that's for sure. I feel contaminated. That's the key word. Not at all. I am upset by unpleasant thoughts that come into my mind against my will a lot. I avoid throwing things away because I am afraid I might need them later. A little bit. I'm changed. Back when I was younger, like early 20s, definitely. I repeatedly check gas and water taps and light switches after turning them off. Not at all. I need things to be arranged in a particular way. Not at all. I feel that there are good and bad numbers. Not at all. I wash my hands more often and longer than necessary. Not at all. 
I frequently get nasty thoughts and have a difficulty in getting rid of them moderately.